if there is an issue with the design, is it possible to fix it? Yes. Um, it could happen that sometimes the design you have selected doesn't have the same proportions as the print area or the print file of the product you selected. Uh, for example, if you pick a, um, <clears throat> let's say we are going to the start section. We create a new product. Let's say we create a, a mug, right? So we're going to click, for example, custom cut and we're going to pick one of these mugs, okay? The 15 could be the, let's filter this by 15. So this is a wraparound mug and it has a, a rectangle two by one in proportion print area, correct? So if we, um, no, let's, you know what? Let's go back because uh, we're going to pick the 15, okay? So whenever we are ready to, we pick all the bugs if necessary. Well, next, and let's say we pick a customity design and the customity design is actually square. So by default, customity will try to fit that square design in the print area centered. So it's going to show in the, uh, in the wraparound of the mug, it's going to show probably on the right opposite to the handle. Let's pick uh, any, any Christmas. Uh, Wait, any Christmas design. One of the last ones that we have tried. Um, okay, this was a uh, <clears throat> a mug. Okay, so yeah, cool, this one. Let's give it a second so we can create this because this design is square. is going to uh, is going to fit on the center of the print area. And of course, you're going to finish this process and you will see that the product was not created exactly as you expected. But you can always fix that because as we saw before, you can always edit the template. So you have a template that has been created exclusively for this design with the combination of print area, the mockup and the design from Customity. And it shows like this, of course, it's showing opposite to the handle exactly this will print exactly as you see it here if you don't like this because it was not what you had in mind don't worry all you have to do is click save draft to be taken to the customity backend where you can identify the options of this particular product and the template of this particular product and if we click on the box with the arrow to edit the template it will be filtered out and you can click edit to see what was created. Now, most print on demand providers have print templates and print guides. So you don't, uh, you don't miss anything on the process of, of creating new things. And right now what happened is our design, which involves the title, involves the cut, and let me see if I can preview one of the cuts. Let's preview uh, the cut number 36. There you go. Oh, it's like this, it's fluffy. And the woman will have a name in here and the skin color of the woman is somewhere around here. So I can preview one skin color. I can preview the drink is there, yeah. The scarf is not here, but we can preview the scarf, preview, a sweater, let's preview sweater number five, just for example. The skin color of the other arm is here and also here. We are previewing all pieces of the character so we can at least see where is the, where is the character on the composition of our design. In the background also, we're going to preview one, or we can preview the other one. And like that, yeah, we have, yeah, this, this other background. I like this one. Okay, so this is the design printing on the mug. The handle starts here and it ends up here. So this shows in the middle. If we want to rearrange this, we can just grab everything and move it around and put it anywhere we want. Now, where should we put this? Here, here here or anywhere, where do we need this put? And that's what I was mentioning that you can use 
um, the guides from the print on demand provider. Those are great files. And you can always, because you are on the, on the template, you can always add new items, add text boxes, placeholders, or dynamic images. And we can grab a dynamic image and upload if we have that information that we can easily download from any print on demand provider. I'm going to just upload this. Um, I have this guide for a mug, right? And if I extend this, I can extend this like this or this, or just click on fit to canvas, right? So this is a printing guide from custom cut in this case that will show us exactly the print size, the safe area, the margins, and the print around everything. So this is our, we can double click here to call this the guide and drag it all the way down like that. We can even lock it so we don't move this by accident. But now if we can grab everything about our custom design, let's grab everything. Where's the cat? The dog. Oh, wait. Uh, we have a dog here. We do have a dog. And the cat is here. And the dog is here with the name. So we just suddenly move this by accident, but we can, yeah, nothing happened. So let's grab everything together from the first one on the top all the way down to the background. Holding the shift key and clicking will grab everything, including all layouts. And then we can move this and make sure we center this following the guides here. The art center here will print on the side of the handle to the left like this. And if we think this is too big, we can position this or make sure it's a bit smaller and keep it centered, for example, everything like that. This is how you put together the design exactly the way you want this printed. Then if you don't want this guide, you can just click here to hide it. Then we click next. And remember, we were able to adjust the, the print. Now we're going to adjust the preview. In the preview, we do have the guide. And we can actually trigger this open and play around to slightly show this. Let me see if I can. Oh, the guide is locked. Sorry. OK, let's unlock this. And let's say that our guide should be like this. Let's probably like that. OK, so if we this is our guide and the rest is our design, all we have to do is position this and make sure everything is the way we saw this on the print, right? OK, so now we're going to do we were in this stage and we do next and don't worry about the guy the guy will always show in here but you see how the print will go on the left side and it will preview also on the left side of course we can always go and play with our characters just to see how they look anything is connected between the preview and the print, and we save. So even if our design was not perfectly centered at the beginning, we always have the chance to go inside the template and arrange that exactly the way we want this. Now, the reason why it wasn't created uh, like that in the beginning is because uh, we always center the designs on the print area. And when the proportions are not the same, then you will see empty space around just to make sure everything fits. We never deform or stretch out any design. 